Okay, so he is a male dog. Oh, and we're all, are we all girls this round? We're all girls. That's good. So I'll have nobody bending over in sympathy, right? <laughs> you can't touch anything blue or green. The last group felt, felt this a little more because there were some boys. So why, why do we neuter or spay our pets? They can't breathe them. Yeah. And what about a, uh, a male dog? What are the other reasons other than that he's not going to be able to make puppies? Any other reasons? Okay. Yeah, I'll take Sorry? Them and you can take I heard something. <laughs> <laughs> a girl? Is it, I make it probably. This is a male. It's We're going to do a girl next. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, for males, first of all, what do they like to do when they know that there's a, a girl in heat down the road? Oh, run. Run, 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 right? So they often get hit by cars and get into trouble that they shouldn't be in. They might fight. But there's also health reasons, right? So if we take away his testicles, he's never going to get testicular cancer, right? So that's done. There's also a male. Have you guys have all had grade 11 biology? You know where the prostate is? Mm -hmm. It sits right under a boy's, a man's bladder. And so the hormones uh, affect that. So if we can remove his hormones, he's going to have less prostate problems. And intact male dogs, as they get older, they are predisposed or they have an increased risk of having tumors that form around their bum. So we're doing all those good health things as well by taking away his testicles, just not a population issue. Okay, so, you know, they usually sit here in their scrotum. So I'm going to pop one up here and remove it. <laughs> this is the part the guys didn't like. I thought it was ripping it right out, but you just sort of have to loosen it off its connection there. The dog cannot feel it. He no, is not at all. <laughs> he is nicely asleep. And he's had some very nice pain medication as well. And some sedation before, and he will get more pain medication as to go home with. So he will actually be quite comfortable. Yes. Just oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Here, tell me if you're not feeling well. If you need yeah. If you're feeling faint, just, just sit down because we can't catch yeah. you. And I wouldn't want you to follow my sterile field. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> is he breathing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's actually breathing. His body is still telling him when to breathe. Okay? Yeah. And he's doing all that by himself. And if, if he forgets, we can do that for him. But at this point, he's doing it by himself. And every breath he takes, he's getting some oxygen and some anesthetic. Is that what that is? This one, yeah, this one measures his, every time he breathes, it'll be. So that just lets us know that he's taking All right. Yeah. Yeah. And if it doesn't breathe within 20 or 30 seconds, you'll yeah. hear a little bell go off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no embarrassment about feeling queasy. Chris out there, who induced this dog, she used to faint at the sight of blood. So there's, there's no, uh, it doesn't mean that you can never have a job in the field or anything like that. All right, so there it is, all tied off there. And this little stump is going to go back in, and we just hold it, make sure it's not bleeding. It's going to go back in, and we'll do the other side.